Hello friends, in this video we want to learn how to protect our Spring REST APIs from DDoS attack. In order to do so, we will use Bucket4j. Bucket4j also needs a cache server which we are using Redis. If you don't know how to run Redis cache server, please watch our Redis tutorial video in our channel. The first step for starting Bucket4j is to add the dependency. For doing so, it's very easy to just add a Spring Boot Starter for Bucket4j. After that, we need some configuration in our application.properties file. Please notice that at the first step, we should add a Spring Cache type. We are using Redis Cache Server here. Now we should add these properties to our project. First of all, we should enable Bucket4j. We need a cache name which is used in Redis. Also, you can prepare a response body for the error. Now, you can say that for which URL you are using Bucket4j. In this project, we are using for all our REST API. These lines means that the client can call just 3 times per 10 seconds. Other option for seconds is minutes, days, and etc. Now let's see the result. You can see that after calling three times, the REST API give us error with the status 429. As you may know, you can use Bucket4j for API client and pricing plan. If you need how to do it, please comment for me in order to encourage me making a video on it. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like and comment to encourage us making more videos.